friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicki and this is my intro for the Color Pan 3.0 Project Pan. This was started by Misty and her channel is uh, Misty Pans <laughs> here on YouTube. Um, go check her out. She does all kinds of project pans. Um, she's just a, a great panner, wonderful sense of humor, a lot of fun to just watch and um, this is also Fantastic Ladies Club, so I will make sure everything is linked down below for you. And with that, we'll get started. I'm keeping this project for myself super simple this year. So, first I want to say rest in peace to the eyeliner I was going to bring in, <laughs> which if you watched my uh, Get Ready With Me weekly makeup basket that I posted two weeks ago, I opened it up and it went flying out into this bedroom somewhere. I still have not found this eyeliner, by the way. I don't know, not that I'm going to put it back on my eyes, but it, it was already broken in the tube, but apparently I opened it just right and it flew out and I thought I'd heard it hit the computer, but I still haven't found it. So um, we're calling that one done before the project even started. So I had to think about what other kind of almost like gimme products I could bring in but I'm going to start with the makeup first I just have two makeup items in here and the first is this aura and out palette they launched this several years ago and if I have something to cover all right we're just taking baby Yoda who matches nicely with this and hopefully I don't blind you and I'm going to come in real close um, so you can see I've gotten some use on this. I know I had this in some project pan somewhere along the way. And I got some really good use out of this color down here, which is Soul Sister. And I've got a dip going in the glitter uh, right here, which is called Energetics. Sorry for the glare. That one right there. Um... I have been this week working on also the, this kind of, it's very bright teal when it goes on, it's this right here called Vibes, um, very pretty, pretty color. So I'll swatch that one for you. So it is this very vibrant teal, this is very, it's a very nice palette. Um, my goal is just to actually hit one pan. This is kind of in, I've had it in my collection for a while, and I kind of, you know, don't, I don't like to keep stuff in t too long because I've had eye infections before. So here is that eyeshadow, and you can see there is a little bit of like a, a shimmer to it. Um, it's really, really pretty. So there's that. Um... So that's kind of, it's it's on my chopping block for this year. I've had it quite a while, and I just don't, and I love the colors, don't get me wrong, love the palette. But again, I've got a million other things I, I need to work on, and but that is my focus, one of my focus palettes for the year. I'm focusing on three, I have five focus palettes this year. Uh, I have the Giant Morphe 35V. I have a 9S Morphe, which is in the pan that palette I'm doing this year. And then I have my two Cleona palettes that I'm working on. So I'm um, just trying to get some good use of, out of everything. But this Color Pop palette and the two Morphe ones, those are on my chopping block for this year because I've had them for a very long time. And so up next, I have this lipstick. And this is from their Princess Collection. This is Jasmine. And this color is Bright Hot Pink. Um, why did I buy a Bright Hot Pink? Because I thought... Let's just talk about this. That's some Bright Hot Pink. Um, usually when I get lipsticks like this that I feel like they're too bold or too bright... I will put a lip balm on first and then glide this on and it kind of gets like a sheer, it shears out the lipstick, basically. Um, this one I'm going to try to finish this year because again, I've had this in my collection for quite a long time. Lipsticks, cream products we know go bad quickly. Um, so I want to try to finish her up 
this year. I don't know that I'll do that because bringing this in, it is it is brand new. But And I do love the color. I will tell you that when I saw the color, it brought out the little kid in me. I used to have Barbie, Barbie makeup back in... I want to say the 70s, like late 70s, and there was like this Barbie, like, it, it would come with like this very chalky <laughs> eyeshadow and this very dry lipstick, It, but in that color that smelled like strawberries, and I loved that lipstick, and I wore it all the time as a kid because, you know, I've played with makeup since who knows how long, probably for far longer than, you know, any little kid should, and I never got into makeup feeling like I needed makeup to be beautiful, like I know I'm beautiful without the makeup. But I like playing with it. It's it's just fun. It's relaxing. It's artistic. It, you know, it kind of just, you know, fills all the cups when I'm doing my makeup and playing with my makeup or anything like that. So um, that is the first two items. Like I said, those are makeup products. Um, and then I'm going to do three skincare items. So the first one I have is this ColourPop Lippy Scrub called By the Bushel. It's bubble gum, and I've been working on this one for a while. Like, I've only just barely scraped the surface. I think you can see I'm kind of getting right to about there. My goal is to finish this by the end of the year. I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but I'm sure going to try. Um, a little goes a long way on this, and this is one of those hybrid sort of lip balm slash scrubs. So I put this on at night before I brush my teeth and then I just kind of rinse it off and my lips are nice and hydrated. Then I'll brush my teeth, do my skincare, and the last thing I put on is one of the Laneige lip masks that I have. Especially right now, the weather's been up and down, it's dry, it's hot, Florida doesn't know what season it's supposed to be in right now, so, you know, there's that. Um, I also have this Sol Body Cleansing Oil. I've started using this last year and I I'm kind of want to get back into it again now that we're in that drier weather this I don't even remember if this has a smell Oof. yes it's like a fresh fruity smell um, I really like this a lot um, I, I would say if they made this in like a bigger thing I would probably buy it and just use it a couple of times a week with whatever I shower with because um, I like those big containers when I have like a really big shower gel it makes me happy because I know I don't have to go and try to find another one to put in the shower for quite a long time <laughs> sounds silly but you know and then the last thing I have is this 4-3 do it hydrating hyaluronic mist So yeah, I've got another mist in there that I'm using, so I'll alternate English, I'll alternate that with this. This is brand new. I haven't even used it. I know I got it in a mystery box at some point, so I definitely want to start getting some use out of it. So there is that. So those are my five products I'm starting with. I don't know if I'm going to bring in any other items this year because... Basically everything except for the eyeshadow palette, which would be great if I could hit more than one pan in that palette. Um, but everything else is to finish. So I think I just wanted to keep this one super simple for myself um, because I'm doing this project, lip service, whole collection project pan, and pan that palette this year. So I'm doing four. And I'm really on the fence about doing deco panning. Like I'm really on the fix. Like, like I've been wanting to do it, but then now I'm like, well, I've got four projects going. That'll be a fifth one. So I'm try I think I'm going to try to figure out how, how I can incorporate it. And I might just do it very similar to this one. Is just bring in five products to finish, and that's it. You know. And if I finish them, great. And if I don't, at least I got some use on them. And I think that might be what I do. It won't be the most exciting updates for this, or if I do deck of panning, it won't be exciting there either, but, you know, if I can finish something, that makes me super happy, or at least make a good dent in what I do have. So, anyway, with that, that is the end of this video. So, if you enjoyed this video, please hit 
the like button, consider subscribing, and if you're doing this project, let me know down below. I'd love to follow you, watch your progress. So with that, I will see you very soon. Have a good one. Bye.